Well, thank you, everybody, and welcome. Uh, happy Thanksgiving and happy uh, season of sharing and caring for each other. Uh, I uh, just spent uh, a wonderful morning uh, with the Interfaith Council on their 15th anniversary of uh, uh, prayer breakfast with quite a host of wonderful, wonderful people who care about the city and about the world. And while the theme was articulated as a very rich greening theme, I think we found out from uh, many, if not all, of the speakers that the way we care about our earth is reflected in the way we care for each other, first and foremost. And that's really important. And so today I'm standing with people who have demonstrated uh, their uh, highest level of care for people, uh, people who work and live and breathe the social safety net for everyone in our city. And I could not ever do my job as the mayor, nor I suggest any member of the Board of Supervisors elected office who also have responsibility for caring about the quality of life for everyone, unless we had a uh, caring leadership in our social safety net. So thank you everyone for coming and being part of this season of uh, giving and a season of caring and sharing with everyone. Uh, you know, this year, our season of giving uh, campaign, I'm focused on highlighting organizations that really work on the ground with our domestic violence victims, our youth, our seniors, our veterans, and certainly our homeless. And that's almost everybody. <laughs> uh, but we definitely have very specific programs that we have created with their help because we believe that targeting our efforts with each and every one of these groups has helped us over the many, many years of getting past the rhetoric of simply saying that we care and into real programs that change people's lives and get them into our system of help and support. This year, we're also uh, wanting to send the message with not only our social service provider, but our whole business community. Please help the victims of Hurricane Sandy on the East Coast. Uh, they're in need. Uh, the winter here is relatively mild compared to what they're experiencing on the East Coast. Those harsh winters is the reason why I did my four years of college and I came right back to the <laughs> West Coast. Uh, but uh, they, again, reflect a high level of need out there. And I, and I hope everybody who's listening uh, on both the government channel and the, and the wonderful uh, media that we have, the multicultural media that we have, uh, please do your best and go to sfgivesback.org, uh, the website, and find out how you can join our American Red Cross, uh, who's here today to help all those victims. Uh, we have done so with uh, not only our city's finest in our response network, but I know all these uh, folks here have sent their volunteers, uh, as well as utility companies who have helping them restore, even today, vital utilities uh, and had their volunteers come and report back. And uh, we will learn lessons uh, about uh, what has happened there and how we can, again, help ourselves uh, by increasing our opportunities to be even more ready for our uh, expected uh, challenge of the earthquake. Um, and uh, please see so and uh, please come on up. Yes, yes, please. Please join us. You, I was just introducing all, both of you, Jan for, Janice, for, for being part of our wonderful, wonderful uh, world of connectivity. Uh, thank you very much for being here. So uh, I'm also uh, just wanting to go through some of the groups that have joined us this morning. Uh, Ateneo Davis from Salvation Army. Kath... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Casa de la Madras, Kathy Black is here. Certainly Michael Pappas and Rita Simmel from the Interfaith Council who I had a chance to be with all morning. Uh, Cheryl Davis from More Magic and Operation Impact, thank you for being here. Brenda Story from the Mission Neighborhood Health Center is here. Sherilyn Adams from Larkin Street Youth Center, thank you. Sister uh, Turbach from St. Anthony's is here. Takai Tyler and uh, Lena Miller from Hunters Point Family, you're here, thank you very much. Ella Wolf Graham, the Center for Young Women's Development, is here this morning to join us. Uh, Mario Paz, the Good Samaritan Family Resource Center. Uh, Paul Ash from SF Food Bank are also here to join us. Uh, 
and I'm sorry if I've forgotten anybody else, but you're as valued uh, to us as everyone here today as well. Uh, I would also encourage uh, that we use the newest ongoing evolving technology of the city to access uh, the list of uh, organizations that people can help connect up with. Also, what other programs, if you're with uh, much more resources, uh, please go to our 311. I know Nancy Alfaro is here as the great leader of that uh, organization, that talent, but uh, also go to sfmayor.org uh, as well uh, to find out what other information you might want to have in order to reach out for more of the needy and help them in every way you can. Uh, I also want to say as part of this campaign that I'd like to announce that we again will be hosting Snow Day here at City Hall uh, sometime in the month of December. Uh, the date hasn't been decided yet, but it will be uh, continuing a very great tradition, not only of welcoming the Tree of Hope, but also uh, asking people to bring in non-perishable items that can be donated to people in need during these holidays and bring them here to City Hall as part of a great celebration that we have that unites everyone. It'll be free, it'll be youth and family and uh, oriented, uh, and again, it will be supporting our food bank. And uh, with that, I, I know that uh, they're gonna be happy today because I'm delivering 100 turkeys uh, to our food bank, and that'll make me happy uh, in doing so. And I wanna again uh, suggest to you that uh, part of this morning's uh, cherished time was really understanding how helping other people can really help ourselves with our own spirits. Um, this is what we do. This is the character of San Francisco. We help others. It lifts up the spirit of the city. It's like winning a World Series, to be quite candid. Uh, and so, uh, again, part of today uh, was about uh, bringing people who have cared for so many others in our city together uh, with our city hall, uh, represent how much we love and support them and what they do every single day. We can't fathom sometimes uh, some of the deep, deep frustration and, and sympathy that goes on on a daily basis when people are met up with folks that are hurt and that are victims and are in need. But at least we can take a moment to thank them and to uh, provide them with an opportunity to talk about what they're doing and how they can ask others who were helping to be successful in the city to help more people become successful in their own lives. And with that, I'd like to uh, introduce some speakers this morning who will talk about uh, their attention to giving and to providing uh, for others. And I'll begin with uh, uh, somebody who I've really uh, have uh, come to love and, and to work with as a city uh, employee and who has penetrated all of our uh, wonderful bureaucracy to help uh, open us up even more. And that's, of course, our director of the American Red Cross, Harold Brooks. Come on up, Harold. Now that I know I'm a city employee, I'm hoping for a big pay raise. <laughs> you know, uh, anytime you're in a room with uh, Ed Lee, you know that uh, there, there's good things going on. What a, what a wonderful leader he is for the city of uh, San Francisco and the entire Bay Area. We're so very fortunate to have uh, in this the best place on the planet, some of the best leaders uh, on the planet, without any question. Uh, I, I got a call from Joaquin Torres saying, uh, Ed Lee would like for you to be a part of this uh, program. And I told my wife, you know what? Uh, we'll start vacation later because I am honored, honored absolutely to be a part of this. And when I uh, am in the room with Janice Mira Katani and uh, with Cecil Williams and Rita Semmel, it, it's hard to get better than that. I mean, these are people who have shown us the way, how to lead, how to put that compassion uh, to, to very good work. So I am honored to be here to say I want to make sure that all of you support the season of giving. We are only able to do the things we do as the Red Cross uh, back at Superstorm Sandy because we have neighbors helping neighbors. We've sent about 160 people back east to help out with that terrible storm. Uh, and the words I'm getting back from our volunteers and, and staff is, this is a horrific uh, disaster. We're learning many, many lessons that will be translated into, God forbid, anything that might happen here in the Bay Area. So 
know that we are always going to help our neighbors because it's the right thing to do, but it's also an opportunity to learn from the latest things that are happening around the uh, country and the world so that we know when something happens here that A, we're going to join up with our partners from Catholic Charity, Salvation Army, the city, the county, and make sure that people are going to be cared for in the best possible way. We are honored to be a part of this fabulous community and know that uh, we're in such good company with the people arrayed here in this room. So Mr. Mayor, again, thanks so very much for the privilege of being a part of this with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, Harold, uh, all of the employees that I'm hiring have to take a pay cut, so <laughs> be prepared. Uh, you know, uh, we often refer to our city as a world-class city. We have world-class parks, world-class restaurants. We have world-class sports teams and events. People from all over the world come and they seek out this great, great city. We also want to sure, make sure people know that we are developing world-class hearts in our city. And I can't think of a better example than that, than the couple who has been really working on this world-class heart for many, many years, have, I think, one of the best representations of that, and that's Cecil Williams and Janice Mercatami from Glide Memorial. Thank you for being here this morning, and please <laughs> say a few words. Like that. No, no, you, you can stay right there. All right. Be comfortable. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Ed Lee is class, first class. There's no doubt about it. Uh, his perception, his understanding, his work ethics, what he does for this city is unbelievable. And he will continue to do that. We know that. There's no doubt about it. The season of giving is so critical because what we do is reach people that are unreachable many times. People that are in great need, and we would be utterly surprised at how many folks we have in just our city that, uh, that, uh, that it's difficult to reach. But to get to them and to let them know that we care and that San Francisco is the city that really cares is something that is very critical. And so, uh, we feel very strongly that, uh, that we are not only uh, serving one of the most important directions in regards to reaching people, but also to meeting the needs of people. N all of, none of us is devoid of disaster. All of us could go through streams of disaster that would hurt even those of us who have. So we're trying to bring the haves and the have-nots together so that in what we do, the gift of love and the gift of, uh, of courage and the gift of understanding and the gift, finally, of meeting others. This is a diverse city, and meeting others is so critical. So thank you very much. This is the time for the season of giving, reaching out to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. to be among such a group of champions, uh, living in a city of champions. And I think having a champion there is so critical. And um, I'll take up on the theme of the Giants who said that we're a team, we do it together, we cannot do it without each other. And in this season of giving, I think we should be reminded that none of us can accomplish what we accomplish alone, and that we as a team can accomplish what we want to in terms of giving and in terms of sharing our resources. Um, Glide has, uh, because of the season of giving, been able to house and to prevent homelessness for over 500 families and individuals with rental assistance and also with housing. So it is a phenomenal, phenomenal effort. And again, thank you, uh, San Francisco, for helping us be a real team that are world-class champions. All right. Uh, in the past week, we have been treated to a public dialogue about something called MVP. And uh, if I were to look back at this year uh, and 
note for our city, someone who has uh, been very special in working with me to create over 5,000 jobs for youth. I was signal an MVP for Eric McDonald from the United Way of the Bay Area. He's been bold, uh, he's been penetrating, uh, and he knows too that it isn't just about jobs, it's about caring for our youth and making sure the doors of opportunity are open. And now he's working with me and with the rest of the city on how to go beyond jobs because people who aren't ready for jobs will continue their habits that might end up in violence. And so he's helping me establish relationships on the ground level with everything from religious organizations outreaches to community outreach. Uh, but Eric, today I want to thank you again for stepping up on behalf of both United Way and all of the different organizations you represent and being part of this season of giving. Come on up, Eric. Thank you, all right. thank you sir. <coughs> so thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, certainly a privilege to stand with you and the rest of my colleagues who are champions and advocates in our community. Uh, in many respects, it's, been, it's such an exciting time here in San Francisco. So many amazing things happening as we continue to build on this world-class status that we have from new business, big tech, new teams, uh, and the like. And at the same time, in many respects, it's kind of a tale of two cities. Because while all of that amazing stuff is happening, at the very same time, as Reverend Williams pointed out, there are folks in need. Uh, who are still challenged and struggling to meet basic needs of food and shelter and clothing. And, uh, and so this is a wonderful time, especially in the season of Thanksgiving, I would offer to be grateful for the opportunity to actually give back, to be grateful for the opportunity to help others who can't help themselves. Uh, and so certainly as United Way has committed itself to cutting poverty here in the Bay Area, uh, we are proud to partner with the mayor and the rest of these, again, amazing individuals and organizations who are trying to ensure that we have a, not just a safety net, but a strong safety net that enables folks not only to meet their basic needs, but then to begin to thrive. Because it's great that you can, again, find food for a day and find shelter for a day, but more important that you can find a path that leads you towards prosperity. And so we're thrilled to be here. And I would just challenge everyone to actually do three things. One give what you can. Two, advocate for those who don't have voice. Uh, and then three, volunteer as much time as you can to community, ensuring that folks can meet their basic needs. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for having thank us you. here, and thank you for your leadership on this effort. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, during the Giants World Series celebration, I ran into a lady that many of you might be familiar with. She, during the Giants game, she's up in the stands dancing, and she's the dancing grandmother. Rosalie Alioto, and I had a chance to meet her, and of course, I gotta tell my joke, because I'm a jokester. <laughs> so the first thing I said to Rosalie was, you know, I just wanna let you know, because I'm gonna keep saying it, I bet you you can run the bases faster than Prince <laughs> Fielder, <laughs> and make it around before, before Buster Posey gets you. Uh, that's the respect I have for, for our seniors who are active and supporting, it's like, Rita Simmel and others who are helping so much reach out. And a person that I've uh, just admired for so many years and had a chance uh, for some years to represent uh, her constituents uh, when they had legal problems of evictions or now it's about nutrition and about health and that's Annie Chung for herself, for the elderly, who continues to be a voice for our seniors and joining in to say, let's not forget those that we have promised that we would have good housing, uh, good nutrition, safety in our streets. Allow them the respect that's due uh, in their years forward. And we join everybody here today to make a commitment to our seniors that we'll be there to help you and never abandon uh, what years of sacrifice you had for our city. Annie Chung from Self Health for the Elderly. Hello everybody, and thank you, Mayor, for leading the way to let our San Franciscans know that the season of giving is also a season of miracles. I think those of us stand here in this room with you always feel that, oh my God, you know, there's not enough turkeys for the food bank, for the needy families, and there's not enough food for the hungry seniors that come through our meal sites and many of our social service agency. But yet, every time, Every time around this year of Thanksgiving and Christmas, we find very, very generous donors and checks suddenly appear, like Mayor will be delivering 100 turkeys, 150 
Turkey is to Paul's group, which is, uh, for that we're very thankful. Mayor, this Thursday we're celebrating Thanksgiving with 3,000 of the very low income seniors in Chinatown. And uh, as of now, I think that we got all the turkeys covered. Uh, thank you very much. And the gratifying thing is we have a lot of volunteers this year. Uh, we have so many volunteers that we have to put a stop last uh, Friday mm -hmm. and said we have no more space to put you. Uh, so I think that people feel that around Thanksgiving and Christmas is not just a time to spend with our own families, but really a time to give back to the community. So I urge all of you uh, to pass the word that there's a lot of needy, elderly, and youth and families in the community that is waiting uh, for a little bit of assistance so that they're well on their way to, uh, to leading a full and productive life. So we need to all reach out and dig deeper into our own pockets and find those spare change that we could find this season and turn them into small and big miracles so that people that are in need uh, will have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a wonderful Christmas. And may I thank you for being our passionate leader and every year gather us around this time to remind people uh, holidays is not just about gift buying, but it's about gift giving. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. See, as you can see in everybody's remarks, it's, it's, uh, it's really, uh, moving to be part of the giving that all these organizations are part of. Uh, we'll be getting ready for Thanksgiving. I'm excited uh, that uh, tomorrow I'll be carving turkeys at Salvation Army in St. Anthony's and we'll be handing out uh, turkeys to the needy at uh, Mission Economic Development uh, Group and the Center for Young Women's Development and then I'll also be enjoying myself prepping meals for Thanksgiving at Glide Memorial. So you have thousands of people that uh, got to be helped and served. Uh, again, we can't do it without everybody's help. And I ask everyone, uh, please have listened to the people here, have seen their sacrifices. They are doing God's work. And I want to make sure that we have the information given out to the rest of the public how to join in this wonderful effort, how to make San Francisco the character of serving and uh, sharing as it should always be. And so again, uh, please call 311 or go to our websites. I direct you for all of that and uh, for continuing uh, this wonderful holiday spirit, uh, but most importantly for caring for each other. Thank you very much and have a happy holiday. Right. Thank you. Thank you.